Hello, everyone, and welcome from around the world to the really big interviews here on SharingSuccess.tv. I am Darren Jacklin, and I am really excited today to have somebody with me here as an interview. This gentleman has worked closely with two U.S. presidents. He is one of the original founding members of Project Head Start and the Special Olympics. He was head of program development for ABC Radio. He's the senior vice president of Kentucky Fried Chicken with the Colonel Sanders. He was one of the early founding members of a company called FedEx Corporation. He's also now presently the chairman of the board of the Elevision Network. Please welcome Mr. Frank McGuire. Frank, how are you today, sir? Uh, Darren, I'm doing fine. It's a beautiful day on the West Coast here in the United States. Uh, California is a beautiful place to live, and I'm, I'm happy to see you this morning, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next uh, moments that we'll spend together. Frank, I want to just uh, acknowledge you and thank you so much for your level of contribution and, and being a difference maker on the planet. You know, 75 years young, I believe that's how old you are, 75 years young? That's correct. And you have done a lot of stuff in your personal and professional life. And Frank, how did you get started in your life? I, how did you get started in business? Believe me, it's an interesting story. I, I was one of these uh, young guys who wanted to go to college. My father wanted me to go to college, but he didn't have a lot of money, so I had to find a job and work my way through college. And that's where the whole thing started. Way back in the beginning days of television, I'm at the university, and I'm paying my tuition, and um, I was watching, you know, everything go on, and these geniuses create this marvelous new medium. And um, somebody was watching me. And, Darren, here's something I want any one of your listeners to understand. Never assume you are not being observed. You cannot hide on this wonderful planet that we're living in. If you're in any environment, in any relationship, people will observe your behavior and not just listen to your words. They'll watch and see. You can lie with your words, but you cannot lie with your behavior. So what I was doing was working my way through the university, and I was... Uh, very, very happy uh, doing what I did. And, of course, when my graduation day came, I had to get a full-time job because my, my job at the un at the network was was uh, part-time. Mm -hmm. And one of the gentlemen who was there, who was one of the executives, called me and said to me, he became the president of ABC. And he called me and he said, I want you to stick around and work for me as a head of program development. And I looked at him and I said, Mr. Douglas, I appreciate that offer, but I don't have the qualifications for that job. And he looked at me and he smiled and he said, Francis, I've been watching you since you were 19 years old. Don't you tell me what you're qualified to do. And that's where the whole thing started. I went to work at the radio network and hired some wonderful people who many of you know, uh, Ted Koppel, uh, the uh, host and founder of Nightline, and Charles Osgood the host of the CBS Sunday Morning News, and the godfather of my, my son. So that's, a, that's how it started. And uh, I, you know, from there on, I mean, if you want me to tell you a little bit later what, what happened after that? Absolutely. I'd love to hear from you about that. Well, what happened was, you know, when I'm a young man and I'm the head of the radio uh, program network at ABC, uh, there was a young fellow by the name of Pierre Salinger who was the was the uh, press secretary for Senator uh, John F. Kennedy. And he read about me, and he asked me to come down to Washington to say hello and meet him, and I did. And when I got down there, he asked me if I'd stick around the next day and play a little touch football out at the Kennedy uh, compound. And we, you know, so I did, obviously. I wound up playing touch football. And I say touch in quotes because, believe me, they played tough. Uh, and, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we had a we had a wonderful uh, experience doing that. And finally, after about six weeks of going down every weekend to play, um, I was sitting in the kitchen of Schreiber's house, and uh, Eunice Schreiber, his lovely wife, um, was making some coffee for us. And in the door walks Senator John F. Kennedy. And he sat down at the table with us and had a cup of coffee. He said, Pierre, have you spoken to Frank about why we've been asking him to come back every week? 
And he said, no, I haven't, Jack. And he said, well, let me tell him. He said, Frank, we, we're we thinking about making a pass at the White House. We're thinking about going for the nomination. And we don't have anybody on our staff who knows anything about the electronic media. Now, remember, this is 1959. And um, they didn't have anyone who knew anything about radio or television. They had great writers, Teddy Sorensen and Dave Power and some of these other people. So he said, I would like you to take a leave of absence and come down here and work on my staff to see if we can be successful in, in gaining this uh, nomination. Check out the really big interviews hosted by Darren Jacklin. Visit sharingsuccess.tv to learn from experts and leaders from around the world.